What's going on guys? This is a long overdue video. I thought that I had made this video already, but clearly I did not. I've received messages over the past many months asking about the uh, details of this, so I apologize for that and uh, we're going to get down and make this video right now. So what you see in front of you is the UEI Hub 6 Smart Probe Set and this is what you're going to get with the Hub 6. You can see we have our pressure transducers. Give you a little better look at those. You can see they have 180 degree ability to swivel. Have your built-in T. There is, kind of hard to see in there, but there is a rubber o-ring which is replaceable. On these particular probes you have a tethered transducer to your pipe clamp, which is just going to go in this little jack. You can see your power button, just hold that in, it comes right on, push it again, it goes off. Of course, you come with a little pretty standard sticker so you can label everything, high side, low side, that kind of thing. Here is the pipe clamps. A lot skinnier than quite a few of the, the brands that are out there. Pretty cool little clamp. You can see our thermistor right there. And it's actually spring-loaded. It's going to be hard to see. But it's spring-loaded so it gets a, a nice uh, consistent contact with the pipe. And then here's our jack where we would hook the tether, the transducer to the clamp. But pretty straightforward. It's got, uh, got quite a bit of grip to it. But that's the clamp. And... Here are the air probes. And it's got a quarter inch air probe itself. You can see the neodymium magnets on there, which are very strong. And when you go to open this, you just gotta make sure you hit this lock button before you pull so you don't strip the gears out. And as soon as you open it, there's no power buttons or anything. Once you open it, it automatically comes on and links see very streamlined air probe and same thing you can set it at different angles 90 degrees or vertical and you can also if you had to you can just set it anywhere in between it's not going to lock in that position you can hear the positive lock at 90 degrees but if you needed it at say like a 45 it's going to work just fine for you but that is the air probe once you close it up. As you can see, it cuts right off. So now what we'll do is I'll break out the app and we will hook these up and see what the app looks like. All right guys, so this is the app. This is what you're gonna see when you open the app. And everything's free to download for Apple or Android. But this is your, basically your home screen right here. And you have your low pressure, line temperature, high pressure, line temperature, liquid saturation, all that good stuff on this screen. Liquid side, suction side, pretty self-explanatory. At the top of the screen, you have your refrigerant side and you can flip to your air side. Obviously, I don't have anything turned on or hooked up right now. Um, as far as your refrigerants go, you have this little refrigerant icon up here. If you click that, that's gonna give you a ton of different refrigerants to choose from and basically what I did on this particular phone this is my old phone which I'm not using anymore it's just for video purposes but I went through and favorited certain refrigerants that I use so then when I go back to the screen if I want to change refrigerants all you do is hit here and then you just have your in my case a, a short list of refrigerants that I typically see so I can 
Just click on one of those refrigerants and hit OK. And now we're switched to 410A. So uh, you also have your measurements if you need to change anything from PSI, bar, uh, Fahrenheit Celsius, all that kind of stuff. And here's the tool screen. So this is where you're going to link all your smart probes depending on what designation you want to give them. So basically it's super simple. All you're going to do is you're going to turn on whichever probe that you want to link. Wait for it to show up in this box. You have a little refresh button if you need it. Wait for it to show up in this box. Click on it and drag it to whichever designation. Let off of it and it's designated. Simple as that. Um, now also keep in mind during this video that this is an old S5 um, that I'm just using for video purposes. I just downloaded this app on here um, simply for this video. So the processor's slow, it's kind of wacky, but uh, don't hold that against the product or the app itself. It works much more streamlined on pretty much any updated uh, phone or tablet. So basically all you do is for the air probe, like I said before, just open it up automatically turns on and it will transmit we'll just wait to see it in our nearby tools which it's right there and then all you would do is literally click on it drag it to wherever you want let go and you're linked simple as that gives you your battery life icon and also your um, signal for the Bluetooth as well. So, and I believe the Bluetooth signal on these is 150 feet, but it also obviously depends on the environment that you're in. Typically I've been getting anywhere from 50 to 100 feet on average, some a little less, some a little more so, but that's as simple as it is to hook up the tools. Once you do that, when you turn them off and turn them back on, they will stay linked to their designation that you gave them so you don't have to do this every time this is on original startup and you're you're good to go so now we have the hub six probes hooked up to my system at the house it's just a 10 year old 13 seer bryant system piston metering device by the looks of it possibly an oversized piston but you can see super easy format to read we have our low side pressure 120 high side 284 our line temperatures our saturation temperatures and then our super heat and subcooling. Again, super easy to uh, navigate the menu. Go over to the air side, click our little plus button so we get all our information. And you can see our target delta T 17.7, actual 17.2, so we're right in there. Um, here again is going to give you your relative humidities, return and supply, your dew points, your enthalpy, and then down below is going to be your wet bulb, dry bulb, return and supply. So super easy format um, really like this app easy to navigate easy to look at and know what you're looking at really quickly um, really enjoy this app probably one of my favorites out of all the smart probes but only downside or knock i would give on the app is that it doesn't do trending it may do that in the future so we'll wait and see but uh, as a whole the app is uh, is pretty flawless so um, as far as the tools go, air probes are phenomenal. Love the air probes. Keep them in the tool bag every single day. Um, they're great tools. The pressure transducers and clamps, I do use them. I switch back and forth between them and another set of smart probes. Um, but I do like them. I don't really have any knocks on them. I was kind of on the fence when I first got them and sort of looked them over. But uh, yeah, all around, I don't really have anything bad to say about the tools or the app itself. Um, if something changes, like everybody knows, I will put it out there. But definitely a solid set of smart probes, probably top two or three in my personal opinion. Um, so if you're in the market for a set of smart probes, definitely at least look into the UEI Hub 6 probes. If you're looking for something super long distance, um, Bluetooth, the UEI probes may not be your go-to. Um, they aren't the highest as far as the uh, Bluetooth range goes. Again, somewhere around 150 feet. My personal experience is about 50 to 100 feet in my region, um, so just keep that in mind. But as far as the tools, the app, and things like that, um, definitely high up there as far as the, uh, the competitors go. So just keep that in mind, guys. Hopefully that was enough information for you. If I didn't answer something, you have any questions, comment below. I will either make a follow-up video or respond to your comment as soon as I can. 
Again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.